Hello YouTube, this is John. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to enable USB boot options. And in our case, we have a USB with Windows 11 on it. And we have our Dell Inspirion. I'm going to show you how to enable USB boot options on this laptop. So I'm going to click my power button. Then when I click, I'll click F12 so that we go to the boot menu. We go to the boot menu as you can see there. So when you go to the boot menu, you will see that we don't have the USB boot options here. And what you're going to do next is very simple. You can click the down arrow key and go to the BIOS setup, or you can click F2 to go to the BIOS setup when you're starting your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and click enter, then you go to the BIOS system. So when you reach the BIOS system, there are a few things you can do here. You just go ahead and go to system configurations. So when you go to system configuration, it will display these options here. Then I want you to click on USB boot options, boot configurations, sorry. And also you enable these two options, as you can see. And you can also read through what you'll do. And this will help you uh, do the, the booting. So I'm going to apply the settings and I'll click save custom user settings, then okay. And then here we are good to go. I'm going to just quit and the computer will restart and then I'll click F12 so that we go to the boot menu. So the computer is starting. We're going to click there. So as you can see there up, we have our boot menu here. So we have our bootable USB sand disk as you can see you just click the down arrow key then you click enter so this will be able to install and boot our usb uh, with windows 11 and my video here i'll show you how to install the windows uh, 11 step by step so if you are new to this channel please subscribe like this video share and if it was helpful i uh, don't feel free to comment and if you are stuck you can also comment i'll be able to help you with a few seconds so right now i've managed to boot my my seventh generation dell inspiron 3000 so I'm, as you can see here you can see the there's a dell inspiron sorry about that if you're not seeing uh we're going to stop from here thanks for watching have a nice time goodbye